For this video, I'm just going to go through a full speed demonstration of how to make this example bridge right here. So do not try to follow along and do things as we're going through this. Just sit and watch this one just so you can get an idea of the whole process from start to finish. Later on, I'll go back and have the videos for everything. So we're making our parts. So we're going to start out here making a new part. I want to start our sketch. I'm going to draw in here. So I'm going to take this drawing right here. This one I'm going to draw this one. So I need a 2 inch by 8 inch. So I'm going to draw my rectangle. 8 inches, hit tab, 2 inches. I'm going to zoom out so I can see everything. Right here. Alright, so I've got 2, 4, 6, 8 inches along the bottom. I'm going to take a line and mark all these off. Hit two, 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 two. All right, so I've got lines at two, four, six, and eight inches. Up at the top, I've got two inches here. I've got eight inches there. So eight minus two is six. Half of that is three. So I know that's three inches right there. So take my line up here, three inches. I'm going to line at two inches. And and three inches. All right. So I've got all my points all marked out. So I get a point at each of these places. I'm using my line tool to connect them all now. And then it. Okay. Hit OK. So we're done with all these dimensions. They're going to get in the way when we try deleting things. So I'm just going to delete all those. I'm going to use my trim tool to get rid of lines we don't need, like this one. So I can either click or I can hold down and drag. So if we take a look at this, this should look exactly like we have on our sheet right here. The only problem is that each of these is a, just a single line. So if we tried making that 3D, it would just be a perfectly straight but perfectly flat line. So what we have to do is we have to give that some dimension. A line is a single dimension. All it does is have length. So now we need to add some width to it to make it two dimensions. We're going to offset it at 0.125 which is the same as 1 over 8 because the material we're using is eighth of an inch so again I'm using this offset tool to come down eighth of an inch All right, so now each one of my lines has a little bit of dimension to it so now it has not only length, but it has width. So that is two dimensions. Next thing we need to do is get rid of all this stuff in the middle here. So if again I use my trim tool, again I can click on this, or I can just hold down the button and get rid of what I don't need. I'm using the mouse to move around using the scroll wheel. So the scroll wheel I can zoom in and out by rolling on the wheel. And if I use the wheel, I click and hold down the scroll wheel, I can pan so I can drag around. So each one of my joints should be empty right now. They should look hollow like that. So this is now a two-dimensional bridge. Now I want to make it three-dimensional with the extrude tool. So I should be able to click on here, and it will give me what it will look like if I extrude it at one inch. So this I can move it around. Again, the material we're using is one-eighth of an inch. Hit enter. So this is the side of my bridge. This is what my truss looks like. 
So I'm going to save that. Save as. Let's just trust. All right, now I need to make the bottom part of my bridge, the deck that it goes on. So I'm going to start a new sketch. New standard inches create. Now I know that the bottom has to be 8 inches long and according to the directions it has to be 3 to 4 inches wide. So let's make it, let's just make it 4 inches. All right, so 4 inches wide, 8 inches long. Do that, I have to zoom out so I can see everything. Just offset, come in, eighth of an inch. And now we can divide this up. This doesn't have to be divided up any particular way, but since these are all two inches right here, I'm going to do it two inches just to make it look similar. Do that. Line. Come over here two inches. Come over here two inches. Come over here two inches. And I'm making sure that 180 degrees still sit there. Let's drop these lines straight down. I'm going to use my offset tool again to make this one eighth of an inch. Notice this one when I bring it out. Let's bring out both of them. We can always just trim that later. Trim, 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 trim. And then this center. Now since this is right in the very middle, if I bring it out eighth of an inch, it's going to be off center. But if I bring it over a sixteenth of an inch left, a sixteenth of an inch right, then that makes sure that that's right in the middle. So let's trim what we don't need. Same thing, we're going to hollow this out. It's going to give me an error because there's dimensions here. Let's delete dimensions. All right, so that is our two dimensional shape. Now we need to make that three dimensional with the extrusion tool. Extruding it eighth of an inch. Bam. And this is our deck. I'll save as deck. And now we're going to need the top, but I'm going to do that a little bit later. What we could do is just file, new part, make the top the same way we did this one. I'm going to show you another way. So now we have our parts. We want to assemble them, put them together to make a 3D shape. So I'm going to hit my place button. I'm going to find those two I just made. So the deck. Okay, yes, yes. Alright, so that's my deck. Place. Find my truss. Open. Yes. So I only made one of these, but I have two of them. So what I can do is I can click, click. You also notice I have that X, Y, and Z right there. If I want to make it easier, if I right click, I rotate around the Y. So I can kind of put them up here. Delete that, delete that, don't need this. So now I have these shapes, but they can move all around. I want to actually put them together so they stay put. My deck, I don't want this one to move around, so I'm going to right click, go to grounded. Now I can't move that. So now I want to, what they call, constrain these pieces to here. Um, I'll change my view, put on my shaded with edges just so I can see a little better. So I want to make this line line up with this one right here, this edge. So I'm going to constrain. Just going to click that edge, click that edge. That's backwards, so I'm going to hit this button right here, hit apply. 
So now this is lined up along that edge. This ledge and this edge will be lined up, whatever I do. Let's bring it around. And I want to line up that edge to that edge. Constrain that edge to that edge. Hit apply. So now those two pieces are locked together. Uh, constrain that front edge to that front line. It's backwards. Hit apply. To orbit. So hold and click the scroll wheel like you're panning, but also hold shift on keyboard to move around. All right, so that's those two pieces. So now this bridge, these are all stuck together. So in 3D, that looks pretty nice. Now I want to make a top part also. Again, I could just go to File, New, create a new part, just like I did with the bottom. But this one, I'm just going to show you a different way. If I hit Create here in my assembly, I call it my top. I can draw it right from here. So I want to draw on this edge, this top edge. I have to hit Start Sketch. Where do I want to draw? I want to draw on this plane. So now if I use this project geometry, it'll take all of these parts that I've already made and I can reuse those. So if I click these lines, uh, now it's just a rectangle. Go back to the top. Draw my rectangle. See that's a perfect two inch by four inch. Can offset it. Do five. Do five. If I wanted to, I could even add that middle bar right there again with project geometry just so I can make sure it's in the same spot. Let's use my trim tool, get rid of that middle part. Finish sketch. So again, I have two dimensional drawing. I need to make it 3D. Bring it up to five. And if I hit return, it brings me back to my assembly, and I created a part just from there. So that's what my bridge looks like. So that's my assembly. So I want to save that. Save that. Let's call it bridge. So the last thing I need to do is I need to make my drawing. So let's go to new, click on new. We want this ANSI inches drawing to create. You don't need these. Let's change my sheet size to A, give me 8.5 by 11. Hit OK. I add my base view right here. Click base. This is where I'm going to get my orthographic view, my 3 view drawing. So have my top front side by clicking those little arrows. If you do it, it may not fit on your sheet. You can change the scale. <coughs> also, I can hit this triangle up in the corner to get my isometric view. Hit OK. So now I've got my top, front, side, and isometric view. If I double click. All right. Now I need to put my dimensions on here. So an annotate dimension. I want my overall length, which is eight inches. I want my overall width, which is four inches. Let's see. Let's get my height. Click, click, right there. So remember, I made it two inches originally, but the difference is that width of the material right there. So adding an eighth on one side, eighth on the other, gives us a quarter. We can also mark the width of our material right here. Now notice that says 0.13. I know we've been doing 0.125, so it's going to give us a little bit more of an exact number if we change that. It might also be nice to know how long these pieces are at an angle, so I can click over here. My dimension.
All right, so that gives me all of the important dimensions I need to know. Last thing. So there's my bridge. So that's my three view drawing. That's my isometric and my orthographic drawing. So we're going to save. Not only are we going to save it, let's call it bridge drawing. But we're also going to export it as a PDF. So that way, make that. The very last thing we need to do is we need to make another drawing of just the side view that we're going to be taking into the lab. So I'm going to go File, New, Drawing, Create. Again, I don't need these borders. This one I need to make sure I edit my sheet. Sheet size is A, so it's 8.5 by 11. That's a normal sheet of paper. And we need just the side view on here. So if I hit the drop down, if it's not there, keep the folder open. OK, yes. All right, so this is one to two. I want this at a one to one because I want this to be full size. So when I go and print it out, and bring it to the lab, it's correct. Let's just add a dimension just to make sure. And add our name. And so for this one, we'll go to File, Save It. And we'll also print this one. This is the one we're taking out into the lab. So I went through that all real quick. Don't worry if you missed anything, because we will then go through step by step so you can make it all correct, make it all how your bridge looks.